Hi guys, Earthrock here, and today I'm going to be walking you through tutorial 2, and where we're going to be walking you through is the brushes and how to select everything. So, uh, first off, you may know like all these walls and clips and uh, not those, because those aren't brushes, the floor, and yeah, this, this tutorial map kind of has nothing for us really. But anyways, all these walls are called brushes. Now, if we look in our 2D view, uh, you can see all these boxes. But if I select within my 3D view, shift and click, you notice that in my 2D grid it shows my floor. If I select this wall, bam! I'll zoom in on my 2D grid. You can see it right there. Uh, you can see the top piece. You can see the side wall. It's all shown right there for you. Now, uh, one thing that you need to keep in mind when selecting from the 2D grid is that if you just like shift and click it's gonna select the uppermost layer which for in this case is the sun layer and what you're gonna do is you're gonna push H to hide it that's not gonna delete it the delete button is oh well the backspace button I should say is the delete so don't worry you're just hiding it from visuals so let me just hide all that and there we go now if we go back into our 2D grid and select anything notice it doesn't go away on the 2D grid but if we select anything on here hold on forgot a layer but either way there now we can select whatever brush we want because all the main zones and everything is hidden now how do I get those back what you're gonna do is you're gonna push shift H to unhide it pretty simple okay now, how do we create walls? How do we create brushes? How do we create floors? Well, it's really easy. What you're going to do is you're actually going to click and drag. And whatever you make is going to show up on the map. Now, you may be noticing it shows here, but it's not showing in my 3D grid. Don't panic. Uh, if you look around in radiant, it's just up there. Now, instead of using these XYZ panels, I want to introduce you to something that I didn't mention in my controls video. So, how do we look at another view on the grid? What you're going to do, also you can, because you have it selected, you can move it around. Now, push control and tab. What this is going to do is it's going to put you in a different view on the 2D grid. And you can actually see the flooring. So all you got to do is drag it down. Let me actually look at this. Okay. And let's zoom in here and select the floor for a second. So I'm also going to hold shift and that will select multiple things. And we can see that it's almost touching the floor and it's almost not touching the floor. So about right there it's touching the floor. Now because uh, this has no texture, you can't really tell uh, like what it looks like or if it's touching the ground, but textures we'll cover in the next video, so don't worry about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it, and I'm going to delete it. Now, one thing you may be asking is how do I get out of this? What if I want to go back to the top-down view? Well, you just do it again. You do Control-Tab, which will come to another side view, and you do Control-Tab again and you're back to the top view. There's only three different grid views. So, uh, if you want to make a wall that's sideways, it's actually the same process and it's very simple. So what you're gonna do is just make a brush that's kinda like skinny and wall-like. I don't know why my brushes are so high up there. That's weird. Okay. Uh, let's just drag this down. And you can also change the size of the brush within uh, the 2D grid and the 3D grid. So example, uh, if I use the 2D grid to change its size and shape, it's pretty easy. Also, this can be changed within the 2D grid depending on uh, what kind of size you want to work on. But you can also do this inside the 3D view. You just select above, below, side, side. Uh, let's bring the camera over here, this side, or, nope, or this side. It's very easy, it just depends on where you're looking and where you're selecting and dragging. So, making walls and stuff is actually very easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that right now. So, I've covered you on how to make brushes and how to make uh, 
not make, but select things. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you hate this video, give it a thumbs down. And leave a comment on your thoughts if you need help with anything. In the next video, I'm going to be discussing textures and probably something else. But either way, see you guys in the next video.